Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you so much for sending love and vibes towards my way as I do the same for you. you know, learning more about your, your gift and embracing it as well. And, you know, trying to heal as best way you can. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. If you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about the impact, your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. And heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or just good information that you would love to share with another fellow empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. Like I said, once again, thank you so much for the love and support you're giving me each and every day towards the channel as well. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, like I told y'all for the next, next few days, um, that I'm going to be posting my daughter's uh, website on my channel well in my description box on my videos if you can please stop by and let her know I sent you if you can please if you can uh, donate whatever you can towards her she's trying to get her book started up for her for her um yeah, okay I'm back uh, I'm gonna be putting her website in my videos and uh, see if you can donate whatever you can possible huh? My bad, y'all. I've got everybody coming through the house and stuff like that. So, my bad if y'all heard them coming through the door. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put her uh, link in my her website link in my description box below. And uh, today, my meditation video I'm using for today in the background is called Balancing Your Ener Energy Body. Activate Consciousness, Positive Energy, Vibration, Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, see the be beauty in your truth. We should. We see the beauty in our truth because you are picked, you are handpicked by the universe, which is a beautiful thing, you know, because it's just like sometimes we feel like we don't matter or um, feel like there's nothing really extravagant about us. Some people feel that way about themselves, but obviously you're very important. Everybody's important. They're, you know, they have, they're, they're serving their purpose the world some kind of way you know and it's just like when you can actually see the things that you're able to do as being an empath or a blue ray or a star seed or a rainbow child or um, a crystal or just an indigo or a twin flame or a hayoka you know you we all serve a, a very big purpose in this war that we're getting ready to fight whatever they're about to place upon us and just being able to see the beauty throughout everything that we do it's like when I look at my my situation you know it, it, it can be hectic at times just because of the fact is you you have so much to heal from but the beauty the beautiful side of it to me is when I can go out and reach out and help people that are hurting you know the people that have lost something they've been abused and you know don't feel the the worth within themselves you know when you can give somebody that fin friendly reminder you know what you matter your voice does matter uh you can you know what you contribute to does matter you know the littlest things you can do can make a big impact in somebody's life you know and it's just like i love what i do like i tell y'all a lot I, it humbles me and i feel blessed to be able to you know i went through a lot of hard times for me to be able to help people understand they're not alone, they're not going crazy. You know, even sometimes when we feel like we're alone or we just feel like we're being punished, it's all about how you look at the situations you're in. You know, death goes through our lives every day. Somebody's dying left and right, which is very sad because, you know, you miss your loved ones. But knowing, like with me, I feel like you know, I've lost a lot of people along the way. It's a blessing that I'm able to still talk to them over on the uh, spirit, spiritual world being able to even though I missed our physical sense 
that, you know, I have that gift to be able to say, you know what, even though they're not in their physical form anymore, if it's meant to be, you'll be able to hear them. And knowing when it's your, your time to go ahead and pass, you'll be able to meet them on the other side. So it's just like when you can look at your gift and know that it will serve a beautiful purpose in life. You know, it becomes a little bit easier to deal with at times. I know it's just like, Rosalind, what you're talking about? But it's just like I said, you have to look at it in a positive perspective. You know, we could have been uh, mentally abused, emotionally abused. Uh, when you know you can be able to look at it as like a stepping stone, a milestone in your life to where you're not going to become that victim. You're going to be a victory. You're going to be a victor in your victory of knowing that, okay, I went through this, my story can help the next person because there's, you're not the only one who's been through the situation you've been through, but a lot of people don't have that courage. They, they still hang on to those sad times. They hang on to the words that has been spoken to them to make them lose their worth. You know, when you can tell somebody, hey, I went through this and this and this and that, and I still have, you know, even though every day is not perfect, <clears throat> Again, you might not be where you want to be right now, but you can see the beauty out of everything that you experienced because the last person, you know, could have died and doesn't have that, that chance to be able to experience the things that you're having, you know, and it's just sad when we lose somebody and life was denied them. You live on for that person. You'll be able to, you know, they'll let you they'll let you they'll ask you hey you know don't be sad knowing I'm always here I'll never leave you um, but go ahead and push on and be that best person you can be you know when you can see all those beautiful things it is truly a blessing you know I used to always say being empath is a blessing and a curse and now I can look at it and say you know what it's more of a, a blessing than a curse to me because there's a lot of things that since I've embraced my gift and I'm open up more towards the universe. A lot of people say, you know, the universe is talking through you. Yeah, I always ask them, you know, give me whatever message you need to give me to be able to place upon my videos, to be able to let people know, you know, don't give up. Don't give up. You know, you're, you're going through things that you will constantly be tested at. Like, you know, am I going to ever get my break? I'm so tired. I mean, there's days I can just say I'm emotionally tired. I'm mentally tired. And I just ask universe, can I just take a break? You know, I've did everything you asked me to do. Can I just take a break? Because there's days I get worn out. And, you know, and if you're one of those strong empaths, you probably felt me. So it's just like when I know I can be able to push out, you know, the information I can push out, just let people know things you're going through and, you know, things to look for and certain things to lead you towards a certain way. You know, this is true blessing. It's just something you have to really embrace. So I'm not going to keep you long today. It's like a short video. So I just say what I need to say and keep it pushing. So know that you're going through what you're going through for a reason. Knowing every pain that you feel, there is a reason behind. It serves a purpose for the pain that you're going through. And knowing better days are coming in, just like I say a lot. You know, just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean you have a bad life. So, so send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe even. Give me a thumbs up, share a video, and, you know, pass it on to somebody you really feel that needs to have it at that time. And drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. And, can, you know, go ahead and say something so I can give you a shout out in my next video. Um, my post notification shout out goes to Reku Von Bialfet. I hope I didn't, you know, slaughter your last name. I apologize if I did. Uh, Stacy Folly. An empath uh, caliber Inc. crazy living much love to you all thank you for being new subscribers and I will talk to you on my next video so you know much love and light and positivity as you pop as I possibly can as you do the same know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and trust and know that there's always somebody praying out there for your better days so I have hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do and I'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wow